Uh, Governor Gavin Newsom of California, thank you very much. Thank you, Chris. For more on the congressional response to the president's emergency declaration, I'm joined by Democratic Congresswoman Maxine Waters of California. What are the discussions happening right now among Democratic leadership in response to what the president announced today? Well, let me just tell you, uh, there are discussions going on about a resolution of disapproval. Um, that resolution of disapproval can be taken up by either House uh, and voted on, even if it's not sent to committee. And uh, we can really let this president know uh, what we think about this fake emergency uh, that he's creating. Uh, the, the resolution of disapproval, which my understanding uh, on this is because of the National Emergencies Act, right? It, it gives Congress a check, and then both houses end up taking it up. I mean, there's an opportunity here for the Democratic-controlled House to sort of force the Senate's hand. Is that right? Oh, absolutely. If we take it up, they must take it up. What do you think the politics of this are uh, on, uh, in the country and on Capitol Hill? The president, many people thought today, looked rather weak, like he was trying to explain a failure. What do you think? Well, I think that this president is uh, literally uh, being pushed by the right-wing conservatives that he listens to every day when he's taking the so-called executive time and they're saying to him if you don't get this wall you're not going to be reelected and so he's up against the wall uh, by uh, trying to make sure that he does everything that he can to make it look as if he's fighting really hard uh, to get this wall because he believes as they are advising him that if he doesn't get it he's not going to be reelected He's lied so much about this so-called wall. First of all, don't forget, he told us that he was going to build a wall, a big, beautiful wall, and he was going to make Mexico pay for it. Have the American citizens forgotten what he said? And now uh, he's trying to make the American citizens pay for this wall. Well, we've done a good job in negotiating this bipartisan legislation by saying you're not getting any $5.7 billion. We'll give you $1.375 billion. That's all you're going to get. And so now he's going to try and go to other agencies where money is appropriated and take that money from them uh, to make up for this 5.7 that he did not get. So, yeah, he probably looked uncomfortable because he is uncomfortable. He can only lie for so much and for so long. Uh, what do you think the precedent is here being said? I've seen some conservative, uh, both politicians and writers, concerned of about a Democratic president using some similar ambit for something like climate change or, or something else. What, what do you, as someone who's been served in Congress for a long time, both in the majority and the minority, what do you think the precedent is? Well, I think that that's what some of them are frightened of, and that's why I really expect uh, that we're going to have a growing number of Republicans that are going to join with us in this disapproval. Yes, they're concerned that if a Democratic president gets elected, then they could use emergency powers to do a lot of the things that they don't like. And as you know, they don't believe in climate change. Uh, as you know, they don't want us to talk about Medicare for all or any of those subjects that they think will spend too much government money, even though they have created the largest debt uh, that we have seen uh, in government for many, many years. Uh, Congresswoman, um, one of your colleagues, uh, Gwen Moore of Wisconsin, uh, said something last night I thought was interesting. She said, if Trump circumvents Congress to declare a national emergency, it would be grounds for impeachment. This is a lawless president who's threatening the constitutional authority of Congress and making a mockery of the separation of powers upon which our democracy is built. Do you agree? Oh, I absolutely agree. As a matter of fact, you know that I've been talking about impeachment for a long time. I, I am absolutely stunned and amazed that the American people are taking so much off of this president. This president has lied, and I think it has been documented over 8,000 times in the last two years. This president has committed obstruction of justice right before our very eyes. And if we could ever get Manafort to tell the truth, then we will find that they conspired to get Trump elected so that sanctions could be lifted uh, off of Russia. President Obama created these sanctions, placed them on Russia because of their invasion, basically, in Crimea. And they can't drill into the Arctic and do some of these things that they want to do. They don't have the equipment. Our allies are working.
with us uh, to honor these sanctions. And this is what this is all about. The Americans have taken too much off of this president. He is dishonorable. He does not deserve to be president of the United States. As a matter of fact, he loves Putin. He loves dictators. He loves Kim Jong-un, talking about they're in love now. And so it's time for everybody to stand up, all hands on deck, to refuse this president these fake emergency powers that he'd like to have. And so I'm urging everybody, get together rally in every community across this country all this weekend. Send a message to Washington, D.C. No, Mr. President, we're not going to allow you to do this. All right, Congresswoman Maxine Waters, thank you very much. You're so welcome. Uh, coming up, the president admits that there's no need for a national emergency while declaring said national emergency, which will likely be a big problem for him in court.